but I do hope you all are having a great week of Memorial Day. I actually, um, decided to go live today, this morning, specifically for my work. Um, I want to talk about so often we get so invested in all of the things that we're not doing, all of the things that we don't have, all of the things that we're comparing, you know, all of the lies we're comparing our life to, all of the mistakes we made, all of the things we did not do it right, all of our faults, um, and I think that we're not clear on what we focus and engage and stick in whatever those things are that we're also manifesting them in a very, um, I think, non-intentional, unconscious way. But we most definitely are, you know. When I wake up in the morning, I say to myself, I'm going to have a great day. I'm going to have a productive day today. I am going to enjoy my day today. And then I am intentionally doing everything that I can do to make that happen. You know, I love singing music, especially at the moment that we're preparing the day. I love music. When I get up and I get in the car, that's the first thing that happens. Or like when I get in the shower in the morning, I put on music or, you know, something to start my day off just in a way that makes sense, that I'm manifesting what I want to feel like, what I want the day to be. Um, and as we get through the day, we make it about the day how I can get out the room and not take my mind away, get out the room and not acknowledging what's happening around you. But I also think for me, where we choose, where we choose to prioritize and put the heaviest um, of our energy around, you know. A lot of times I see or maybe notice that it's so much easier for us to be focused um, on things that we can't control, things that other people do that we also can't control. Um, and we spend so much more or so much less time on the things that we can control, the things that we can do and manifest in our day, in our space, to make it something different for us, when we can get possibly more likely to get a better outcome than we were intentionally looking for, right? And I'm, I underline intentionally looking for. Um, manifesting is not just about going throughout your day and you know saying words. It's also about being intentional being strategic around your happiness. Happiness is subjective, right? Everybody's happiness is going to be different. Everybody's peace, joy um, is going to be different. And you have to pursue that un unrelentingly. Um, and does that mean we're going to have sad times? Does that mean that we'll have times where we're angry or upset or frustrated or having a bad day? Well, sure, right? Um, but how much time and energy does that take from us? How much time and energy does that take away from us being able to have what we say we want um, and being clear about what you actually want? You know, sometimes I think we just can sing and say, I want to be happy. But how many of us actually pursue happiness in a way that actually makes that true? You know, I think, you know, a lot of times we unintentionally pursue um, chaos and sadness, even when, again, unintentionally because that's what we're comfortable with. We're comfortable with chaos. We're comfortable with sadness. We're comfortable with the devil we know. You know, what does it mean if I'm happy? What does that even look like for me to have peace? What does that even look like for me to have joy? Uh, because I've pursued anger, sadness, and destruction and suffering for my whole life. And even when I wasn't pursuing it, it was pursuing me. You know, I think that that comes back to what our intentions are and how we're manifesting something different for ourselves. Is it easy? No. Does it take practice? Yes. Is it an everyday, strategic, intentional pursuit? Yes. You know, I posted this morning, uh, again, that I have a theme song. That is in my pursuit. I am pursuing um, happiness. I'm pursuing peace. I'm pursuing joy intentionally. I'm not going to let it happen to me by accident. That would be nice, right? But I want to make sure I'm doing everything I can do in my day to pursue what I want um, with 
chaos finders. Yes, the sadness and suffering and pain will find us for sure. But that happens, and that finds us so much easier without us even trying. So I don't definitely don't want to try, you know, for it to find me. Um, I want to make sure that I'm putting my best foot forward to take care of me. And a lot of times that is harder uh, to do. Thank you. That is harder to do than allowing us to be subject to the suffering. Um, it's a lot easier for us to be subject to everyone else's reality and everyone else's pain than us protecting ourselves and allowing ourselves to protect our pain from others, right? If that makes sense. Um, but I, I really just felt the need to say that out loud today because it is challenging and it is difficult and it's so much easier to allow um, pain to consume us. And that not only takes up that moment, it ends up taking up our day, our week, our month, our year, our spirit, our soul. Um, and we end up surrendering to pain when we don't have to. Um, and, and what I will say to you is, you know, not allowing yourself to con allow it to consume you or surrender to pain and anguish, allowing yourself to step back and manage it but not allow it to consume you. Those are two very different things. Um, you know, I've been asked, how are you, how do you stay so positive? How do you wear a smile? How do you get up and you're so excited? Because I'm alive. Because for the last 35 years, I've watched people pass. You know, I've watched opportunities taken. I've watched me not taking opportunities. I've watched me being afraid. Um, I've endured sadness. I've endured chaos. I've endured all those things, suffering. And it didn't work for me. It wasn't getting me where I wanted to go. Um, it wasn't a place I wanted to stay in or feel through. So I had to be intentional about making it different. You know, I had to be intentional about protecting myself and my peace and my joy and my happiness. I had to be intentional about organization um, and de-stressing. I had to be intentional about speaking my peace um, and being assertive because some of those things are absolutely not natural to me. They don't feel good to me as far as comfort. I don't feel comfortable being assertive. Uh, I'm usually very passive, but I learned that it was creating chaos for me. It's cre was creating intensive pain and anguish when I wouldn't speak up for myself. So I made a very intentional choice. Um, and I struggle with it all the time, but I struggle much more with not saying something, not speaking up for myself, not taking care of myself, not protecting my peace than I do otherwise. So I prioritize and I make a very intentional choice every time that I do it. And do I have to take a deep breath and talk myself through it sometimes? 1,000%. You know, I'd rather sit back and chill, mind my business, <laughs> and enjoy things, right? But that's not always the way to live productively, especially when I have a family I'm responsible for. I have myself, more importantly, that I'm responsible for. So I like to make sure that that comes first. Um, I come first. I make myself a priority. I make my peace a priority. I make my joy a priority. I make my suffering, uh, I honor it, but I also manage it much differently than I did before. Um, because we will suffer, right? Suffering is a part of living, uh, but it's also a part of dying. And I don't want uh, it to be that part of me just yet. I'm ready to live. I'm choosing every day to live. I'm not just surviving. I don't want to just survive. That's a very different experience. Um, and there are times where we've all just, we're just trying to make it through. We were just trying to survive. But there are so many more times where we can choose something else because we're not in a crisis. Um, and we don't have to put ourselves in one either. So I hope 
that y'all choose to live today. You manifest those beautiful energies and 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 speak into existence what you want and be intentional about pursuing it. You know, it doesn't have to happen by accident. Allow yourself to be in that space and manifest it in the way that works for you. Everybody's reality is different. Everybody's truth is their own, you know. So you have to choose how you live the rest of whatever time you have left. Um, and you manifest it in the way that works for you best. Everybody's uh, way of living is very different because we do what works for us, even if other people don't agree, right? Um, but I will say I, I, I just wanted to speak that into the universe today because I believe in speaking into the universe, again, manifesting what we want, what we need. Um, I believe in manifesting that in the universe by speaking into the, the universe and being intentional about how I pursue it. Um, today, you know, I have a a schedule full. Um, and how do I manifest that when I have to work, when I have to do something so serious? Um, I also think that's about how I approach people. You know, I'm getting on, hey, how you doing? Like, I'm listen, I'm in a good mood. And I understand that I'm working with folks that are struggling and uh, that are not in, maybe not in a good place, you know, but I can also bring some positive light, energy and love into whatever I do. And I can share that, excuse me, intentionally. And whether or not people are in a space to take it on and embrace it and, and, and um, allow that into their space at the time, it doesn't have to happen right then, but I am always here to share positive and productive energy, um, to share the feeling of love and care and, and um, support. Uh, that's what I do. I believe in the concept of healing and that part of healing is not just about me, right? It's about putting it again, putting into the world what you want to get out of it, uh, putting into the world what is supportive and helpful uh, to yourself and others. So um, I do hope that you share a smile today or you get a smile today. You know, I believe in the power of like, um, what is it called? Not moving it forward. Uh, uh, when you do something for someone and they do something for someone else. I can't think of what that's called, but I believe in the power of that. Like, I love going somewhere and paying for somebody's food unknowingly and just kind of going out the other way or um, saying a nice word or praising someone out of the blue or just giving someone some kudos, just allowing that positive, productive energy to manifest in the world. So I hope that y'all have, have a beautiful day. Manifest your destiny, manifest your dreams, manifest your love, manifest your peace, manifest your happiness, and I'll see you another time. Peace.